Hello, I'm Isabel Bryce, head teacher at Saltash.net Community School, and I've been head teacher here since 2003. I am a head teacher, but I'm also a parent of two teenage girls who have also gone through this school. And I'm very aware of some of the issues that teenage girls um, face when they are at school and growing up, and things in to do with confidence, body image, and self esteem. And therefore I think why I'm so pleased that this particular project has been so successful is partly because um, of the um, good habits that we hope it's establishing in terms of fitness for life. We are a very, very inclusive school and it's really important that we don't feel that there are any students for whom some aspect of the curriculum um, is not engaging and it's not motivating them to want to do well. We wanted to develop a more positive attitude in these disaffected girls and instill an understanding of the benefit that physical activity can offer to their general health and physical and mental well-being. The girls were selected based on their low level of effort and participation in Key Stage 3. A significant proportion of these were entitled to free school meals, had SEN status or were children in care. The majority disliked highly competitive team games activities that occurred outside and those requiring high levels of physical exertion. They also didn't like being involved in mixed gender classes. Having identified this, the curriculum was adapted to be based indoors and focused on many individually performed activities rather than team games. It had greater breadth and flexibility than before. For example, on experiencing an activity that was disliked, it was not repeated again. The atmosphere was also lightened by regularly playing music in the lessons, which when selected by the girls, it often motivated them to work at higher levels. And it's really important that all of our young people see how important it is to be engaged with some type of physical activity. The whole thing to do with self-esteem and confidence and enabling the students to feel good about themselves directly has an impact um, on those particular students' approach to their learning and their studies. I think being in this group has affected my confidence in the fact that I feel happier and I, can, I feel like I'm able to talk to different people and work with different people and socialise better. There's not pressure to be amazing at sport and I don't stand out because we all accept that we're not fabulous at it and we work together as a team. A reward system was also put in place. This motivated the girls to produce a kit and to participate regularly. The rewards related to well-being and particularly areas of interest to the girls, such as skin care, massage, smoothie making, nail art, yoga, body image and bra measuring. So we've really noticed that with the students who've taken part in this project over the last few years that their attendance has improved, that their attitudes to learning have also um, greatly um, improved, not just within obviously PE but across the whole curriculum. Having observed some of the lessons it makes me feel really good to see the students coming in so enthusiastically uh, when perhaps in previous types of curriculum models that would not have been the case. So I say well done to the girls and to the department for ensuring that we continue to be a really inclusive school.